of Summer have started within Call of Duty, and for right now, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Mastered have a bunch of cool stuff going on. Black Ops 3 stuff will follow later on July 11th, I believe it is, but with this, we ended up getting a couple of new cool things within Modern Warfare Mastered, and for the sake of this video, we're going to be focusing all on Beach Bog, the brand new variation of Bog from Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Mastered, and as you can see by the title, we're going to be taking a look at five changes made to Bog and Beach Bog within this one, comparing the two a little bit here with this, but a little bit of a disclaimer, this one is more of a whimsical five change comparison video. This isn't anything like the others where we take a look at huge changes made to Bog. Some of these are very obvious and definitely ones you'll be able to pick out nonetheless, but I wanted to bring it to you guys because I like taking a look at these changes, these comparisons here with this, so hopefully you guys enjoy, but with that said, let's jump into our five changes. Number one here up on this list and probably the most obvious is the fact that Beach Bog takes place during the day. Bog previously, of course, as we know in the original, is taking place at night, so therefore, there's that major change in terms of the lighting and the global positioning of everything like that. It makes it a lot easier, I believe, in some cases to see, but of course, some people may still prefer the nighttime version of Bog, and for that, of course, the original version is still there to play. You just don't have the new camo challenges exclusive to Beach Bog in the original. Number two, let's take a look at the name and what that suggests. Beach Bog obviously has a beachfront aesthetic to it, whereas the original Bog does not. It's a war-torn city, and this one, though, it does not have actually the city in the backdrop. That's one of the big things you'll notice if you look out outside of the map. There's not a Middle Eastern city here at this one. Instead, it is just a glorious beach, and so that backdrop drop is completely different. The shops have English signs and even surf shops on their own to once again denote that beachfront vibe. Now additionally on top of this the palm trees are a little bit different. The textures are completely different from that of the original bog. These are more so Caribbean palm trees something that you'd see in that aspect and of course basically anything else that you can think of aesthetically that would be more so suited towards a beach it's here instead. Number three on the list is one that actually you might not catch immediately but one that I found kind of comical. This is the fact that nothing in the map is on fire. A lot of bog has some either trash cans on fire, some piles of rubble on fire, things like that, where there's just various different pieces of the map that every so often you'll come across something that's on fire. In the beach bog version, however, that is not the case. There's nothing that I've seen thus far that is on fire. And so, to me, I think this is just, once again, changes that aesthetic a little bit, but I thought it was a little bit more comical. Something that, while I don't know why exactly it's funny, I just found this one to be amusing to me. Now, number four actually does change a little bit of how the meta of the game will work on beach bog, simply because there is an additional wall that is added in, and this is something that we talked about in the earlier gameplay showcase, but it is, in fact, a decent little change here with this. This one. If you end up taking a look, say, from the side of the map with the beach and look at the strip of stores, you'll end up seeing that there is by the road right in front of where you meet the air quote beach portion of the map, where it is, of course, the beach rubble and all that with the tanks. Whereas you are about to go onto the street, there's a dividing wall here that is not there in the original. And this is one that actually does change a little bit of the sight lines, offers a little bit of more protection and things like that. So you can use it to your advantage, but also it might end up being something that is not as advantageous for you if you end up going towards, say, a kill that you'd normally get on the standard bog in Modern Warfare Mastered. So this was an interesting little addition here, I think. I don't know if it was necessarily needed, but it was something that nonetheless is added in, and so we have to deal with it as such in Beach Bog. Now the fifth and final change, once again, is not necessarily a huge major change as with the other ones, but it is an aesthetic change that you guys may or may not have recognized at a certain point in time if you've played on this map. But for those that have taken a look around, you can actually look up in the sky, and at first glance it doesn't seem like there's anything there, but when you end up finding it, well then with a sniper you can check out what it says. As per the vibe of a normal beach visit, there's always seemingly some plane that flies overhead flying some sort of message and as with beach bog there is one that does that and that message says 50,000 people used to live here now it's a ghost town paying homage to the original COD 4 opening that everybody loved the iconic intro cinematic that honestly was not only fantastic but still to this day kind of upset some people that it does not get featured in its entirety here within modern warfare mastered but nonetheless it is something that is now visible in beach bog for the next couple of weeks while this map is 
active to the public. So if you guys have the chance, take out a sniper and try and check it out. It does end up circling the skybox of Beach Bog and is something that doesn't go away, but will just be in different positions depending on the time in the match. But that said, that's gonna wrap this one up. Once again, this was just a more so whimsical version of this five changes episode. We've done a lot of serious ones that cover some big changes, but this was not necessarily one of those. Instead, we're just having a little more fun with this one. I'm enjoying this map. Hopefully you guys are as well too. But that said, that's gonna wrap it up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below as well. What do you think of this new map or rather a new variation of Bog? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Whatever it may be, feel free to drop it down there. But also if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and zombies with Zombies Chronicles, Call of Duty World War 2, and that encompassing multiplayer and zombies as well, as well as some cool stuff regarding Infinite Warfare and the rest of Call of Duty as well. So if any of that interests you, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get me outside of YouTube and practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Mine's me, Cole Espresso. Take care and peace.